we want to use the limit comparison test to determine if the given infinite series converges or diverges. We'll begin by determining what infinite series the given series resembles and if that series converges or diverges. Notice how the given series resembles the series where we'd have the summation from n equals one to infinity of n divided by the square root of n to the fifth. Now let's simplify this. This is equal to the summation from n equals one to infinity of n divided by, this would be n raised to the power of five halves. Remember if we have the nth root of a to the m, using rational exponents, this is equal to a raised to the power of m divided by n. So for the square root, the index is two, and therefore this is n to the five halves. And now if we simplify this, we'd have n to the first divided by n to the five halves. That would be n to the one minus five halves, or n to the negative three halves, which equals one divided by n to the three halves. So we can write this as the summation from n equals one to infinity of one divided by n to the three halves. And now from here we should recognize this would be a converging series by the p-series test with p equals three halves. And now to apply the limit comparison test, if we let the given series be equal to the sum of a sub n and the series that it resembles be the summation of b sub n, since the summation of b sub n converges, if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n equals l, where l is positive and finite, since the summation of b sub n converges, the summation of a sub n also converges. If it happened that we were comparing it to a series that diverged, and this limit was positive and finite, then the given series would diverge. So let's go ahead and say the given series resembles the summation from n equals one to infinity of n divided by the square root of n to the fifth, which equals the summation from n equals one to infinity of one divided by n to the three halves, which converges by the p-series test with p equals three halves, which is greater than one. So now we want to find the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n, which in this case would be the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n would be n divided by the square root of n to the fifth plus two divided by b sub n. Let's go ahead and use this form for b sub n. We'd have n divided by the square root of n to the fifth. And now let's write this quotient as a product. We'd have the limit as n approaches infinity of n divided by the square root of n to the fifth plus two. And then instead of dividing, we'd multiply by the reciprocal, which would be the square root of n to the fifth divided by n. So notice in this form, n over n simplifies to one. So now we'd have the limit as n approaches infinity of the square root of n to the fifth divided by the square root of n to the fifth plus two. Now remember, there is a shortcut for finding this limit. If the degree of the numerator and denominator are the same, the limit is equal to the ratio of leading coefficients. So because we have the square root of n to the fifth in the numerator and in the denominator, we can think of these both as having the degree of five halves, and therefore the limit would be equal to the square root of one over the square root of one, which is just one, or if we want to, we can divide everything by the highest power of n in the denominator, which would be n to the fifth underneath the square root. So if we did that, we'd have the limit as n approaches infinity of, we'd have the square root of n to the fifth divided by n to the fifth, which simplifies to one, divided by the square root of n to the fifth 
divided by n to the fifth plus two divided by n to the fifth. This would give us the limit as n approaches infinity of the square root of one or just one divided by the square root of one plus two divided by n to the fifth. Notice here as n approaches infinity, two divided by n to the fifth approaches zero and therefore this limit is equal to one divided by the square root of one or just one. So because this limit is positive and finite and we compared our series to a known convergent series, our series also converges by the limit comparison test. So by the limit comparison test, the given series converges. I hope you found this helpful.